You're watching Second Mate Generation. Tips, Tricks Amp, Tutorial. Now your host Second Officer Dana. If you are aspiring deck officer, this video is for you. If you like my video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel amp, click notification bell so you won't miss any of our video. Good day master, in today's video, I will show you the procedure on how to use Voyager 8 laptop and the event of both this failure. So it is very important that this procedure is uh, include in your SMS manual on Word. So that if um, betting inspector asks you this one, then you have evidence that you have uh, instruction from your company okay so now uh, all you need to have is this active sense so uh name me uh, usg2 so this will supply on your vessel from your company okay so this is the operation manual then also the procedure on how to use this one okay also uh, troubleshooting procedure so, since I have this uh, USG active sense then I will show you now on how to use this in Voyager 8 So it is very important that you know where the location of this um, connection in your uh, vessel okay so here this is um, GRC this is GRC buffer unit this is the connection where the GPS is connected in my Voyager okay so this uh, GPS uh, configuration uh, software you can find this one in your yellow USB so just go to this uh, directory BPS setup install other apps and Voyager then you can locate this uh, GPS configuration also you can see the configuration quick start guide here and then to activate this uh, GPS on your Voyager you, you need to inform your company then your company will contact Voyager support to activate your GPS via team viewer okay you can see here it is active GPS configuration okay so you cannot use uh, these features if this is inactive you can see here in configuration Voyager services then you can see all this active okay this is uh, your uh, active uh, subscription okay so now all you need to do is here just uh, go to configuration go to gps nemia settings and set up your uh, vessel uh, particulars here and then click save okay later on i will show you th uh, this actually so then when you're ready um, insert the uh, usg2 just go to your computer right click and browse to uh, manage and then here it will show the computer management then click device manager and click this port um, comport okay so here it will show the active sense you is G comport 4 okay you don't need to do anything here just check what comfort 
is your USG okay so it will uh, show green color if you have received the data from GPS okay so it will blink like this meaning to say you have received the GPS data So this is uh, connected to the listener. Okay, it, uh, you can see also here. Just follow the procedure. Now we will open our Voyager 8. Just log in. So disclaimer mga sir, this video is only your guidance. Just follow your company instruction in order to use this uh, Voyager 8 um, in the event of a this failure also the procedure. Okay, so now we will go to configuration and then GPS Nemea settings so here just check this one um, type your uh, bezel particulars here and then click save to see the, your subscription then click this boy your services click active so here you can see this is all active that I have on board I have GPS ENP um meet 515 for US Coast Guard and number of warnings ADP BA BCS etc okay so here mm, lol. so you can see what you have okay so now we will close this one and then just open your GPS configuration now your GPS configuration is open all you need to do is check the settings configuration then if this is uh, for example this is uh, blank then you can uh, choose uh, this uh, comfort you can look uh, locate this comfort I also already show you before just go to your computer right click for this PC and click manage then go to device manager and look for comfort so here you can see active USG comfort number 4 okay just close you don't need uh, to do anything here and if you already confirm then you can uh, select here comport number 4 the body rate is 48891 and then just click the save okay after that you can um, connect to GPS if nothing is uh, showing here just click the settings and click enable test mode so this test mode means to say this will test your um, system system test so the when you click this connect then this 
uh, coordinates is um, not actual coordinates in your GPS. This is a system test mode. So this is included in the Voyager configuration app. So I can show you here. I will click here. So as you can see, because my GPS configuration is already set up, you can see this toggle on and off. Okay, so when I click this center on bezel, this is the location that um, in the system test mode, this is not actual uh, my location, okay? So, when you done test mode, then click disconnect and click connect again to receive the actual position, okay? So you can click here. I am on the Anchorage here in uh, Wandelar. Just click center on bezel. And as you can see, this is the Westender Anchorage. I am uh, here now. So, okay. So the, just compare these uh, coordinates in your GPS on board. So, just click uh, minimize and then just go to dashboard and click map layers then here you can choose the um, ANC team you can select day, dash and night and this pre category just click other and here takes option click this check this one Okay, so you can set also here the deep contour, safety depth, shallow contour, and safety contour. After that, after you can uh, uh, configuration here, just click save and update. Okay, now just minimize this one. So you can now use this uh, Voyager 8 in the event of like this failure so by the way I will show you here in uh, the planning just we will load a uh, route here so for example I will load create new route import uh, route then one dollar to um, one dollar to birth Okay, road successfully saved. Just click OK. So here you are in uh, road mode. So to avoid adding uh, waypoints when you click here, for example, like that. So you need to click this pan mode to browse. Okay, just click here to center your bezel. So this is my waypoint from pilot station to birth. So as you can see here, the uh, XTE is 011. That is, you can see this is very small. Okay. So you need to set here in basal defaults. So for example, you uh, you want to put as your passage plan. For example, 300 or 200. Uh, meters then confined waters so you can select here what type of vessel you have chemical tanker or sa etc you can input here your sp speed of your vessel for example 12 knots and turn radius uh, the your draft for example okay you can uh, configuration here and after that you can click save here or here this is the same and click yes to apply okay so the same when you are planning on board when you request uh, ENC you need to do this this basal defaults in order to uh, apply your configuration okay so this is now 
XTE4 200 meters okay so so here for example I will uh, need to request uh, ANC here so here in Bissell default if you uh, set XTE by one nautical miles this would only check the ANC for one nautical miles from the road that is not enough we need to have the ENC for at least 50 nautical miles from the road this would mean that in case we need to deviate the ship for any unforeseen reason we still have ENC for at least four to five hours of the deviation so 1852 meters times 50 nautical miles equals 92,600 meters. So here in uh, XTE, okay, cross track error. And then click yes to apply, okay. So as you can see here, uh, this is the um xte of 50 nautical miles so we will use the uh, range and bearing so as you can see here it is 50 nautical miles distance from our plan track okay Dashboard. Then, so this button is for monitoring mode. So when you click this one, then your bezel is always at the center, okay, of your course line. So this one is center on bezel if you uh, need to go away in your uh, current uh, route you need to uncheck this one so that it will not automatically going to center if this is checked if now you need to browse it will automatically make it at the center okay for example now I will uh, looking for something here then after a few seconds it will automatically um, go back to the center position of my GPS okay So this is the end of my video. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.